In this video, I want to show you guys how to create a mean, median, and mode calculator. But for those of you that don't know, mean is just the average, median is the middle of a sorted data set, and mode is the number that occurs most often. And if there is no number in our data set that occurs more than just once, there is no mode. So before we get into this program and I start coding it, I want to actually uh, run this program, the finished product, and show you what it looks like once it's done. So we're just going to run this, and what it's going to do is it's going to prompt us, enter a number and say stop to end. So we're just going to enter a number and hit enter, and it's going to prompt us again, and it's going to keep prompting us until we enter stop. So let's just enter some more numbers, um, 999, 1,000, um, 100, 8, 6, 7. So this is the numbers that we want to find the mean, median, and mode of, so we'll say stop. And the mean or the average is 6,110. The median or the number that occurs in the middle of our sorted data set is 550.5. And the mode or the number that occurs most frequent is number is one. So one occurs twice, all other numbers occur once. So we're gonna run it one more time and do a different set of numbers. So we're gonna run this. Let's try one, two, three, four, five and so on and the last one will be 999 so we'll say stop the mean or the average is 104.4 the median or the number that occurs in the middle of the sorted data set is 5.5 and the mode there is none and there is none because no number in this data set occurs more than once so that's just the gist of this program this is what it's going to look like once it's finished if you want to stick around and uh, learn out learn how to code this out, um, that will be in the next section. So for the coding section of this tutorial, we're going to create three methods. And the first one is going to be the mean. So define mean. We're going to pass it our list L. And then we're just going to say pass for now. And then the second one is going to be the median. So define median. And we're going to pass it our list L as well. And then our third function is going to be the mode. And we're going to pass it our list L. OK, so to start with the logic of our mean function, the mean, all it is, is it's the average. OK, so what we need to do is we need to sum up all the elements in our list and then divide by the length of our list. So we're going to create one uh, variable, and we're going to call it total. It's going to be equal to 0. And what this variable is going to do is it's going to hold the total of the sum of our list. From here, we need to iterate throughout each element in our list and add it to our total variable. So we're going to use a for loop and say for x in our list L, we need to say total plus equals x. And all this is saying is total is equal to total plus x. It just adds every element to our total in that list. So now that we have the total, we just need to divide total by the length of our list. So we're going to create another variable called mean and set it equal to the total divided by the length of our list L. And that'll give us the average or the mean. And from here, all we have to do is return our mean and we are done with the mean function for the median so a little bit different the median is the middle element of our sorted data set or our list and what we need to do is we first need to sort our list and Python comes with a very easy function to do that it's the sort method or the sort method so l dot sort our list is now sorted there's two separate cases we need to take care of if the length of our list is even and if the length of our list is odd if the length of our list is odd there will be one middle element in our list and that's all we need to find if the length of our list is even there will be two middle elements in our list and we need to find the average of those two elements so we're first going to take care of the logic of if the length of our list is odd and we can do this by saying if the length of our list l modulus 2 does not equal 0 that's just saying if it's not divisible by 2 it's odd so 
the median, we're going to create the median variable, is equal to the <clears throat> is equal to the index. And the way we find the index of our middle character is we just divide the length of our list by two and that'll give us the middle character. So we can just say the length of our list L divided by two. But since it's odd, say take for example the length of our list is nine and we divide it by two, that'll be 4.5. We want to shave off that 0.5 by converting it into an integer. And now our float of 4.5 is now the integer four. So we have taken care of the logic for if the length of our list is odd. We now need to do it for if it is even, and we can just say else, because if it is not odd, it must be even. So the way we need to do this is we can find the very first element, um, the very first middle element of our sorted data set by dividing the length of our list by two, and that'll give us the index of our f uh, second element. But in order to find the first one, we must divide the length of our list by two and then subtract one from that. So we're going to create the median variable, again, is equal to the index of the length of our list L divided by two. And we're going to convert this into an integer just like last time. And then we want to surround this whole thing by parentheses because we want to make sure that this happens first. And as it st states right now, we have the very middle character. But if it's even, we want the one right before this. So we can find the index of the one right before this by just subtracting one from this index, and it'll give us that one. We then want to add to it the next index right in front of this index okay so the way we can find the one right in front of it is we just do the index position of the length of our list l divided by two and we convert this into an integer and this will be our two middle characters if the length of our list is even okay we have now added them up into our median variable what we can do from here is now we have a variable called median that holds the sum of our two middle characters. To find the average, we just need to divide it by two. So we can say the median is equal to the median divided by two. And that is our median for if the length of our list is even. We can now, since we have the logic, just return our median variable. And we have now created our median function. For mode, what mode is, is sorry about that. What mode is, is it's our middle, or the mode is the most frequent occurring uh, element in our list. So the way we're going to do this is we need to create a variable and we're going to call it counter. So we'll say counter is equal to zero. This is going to keep track of the maximum frequency uh, in our list. Then we need to create a variable called num. And this is going to be our actual mode, or the actual most frequent character in our list. For now, we're just going to set it to the very first character in our list. We're just going to, from the get-go, assume it's the very first character. So what we need to do is we need to iterate throughout each element in our list and check the frequency of each element. So we're going to use a for loop and say for i in our list l. We're just going to say the current frequency of this iteration is equal to L dot count of I. So now we have the current frequency of the current iteration in our list I. Okay, so from here, we need to see if the current frequency is greater than our counter. So if the current frequency is greater than our counter we are going to say counter is equal to our current frequency then we're going to update our num variable with the current iteration in our list okay so we're going to from here 
we're actually going to return our num variable. And I know this can be kind of confusing, so what we're going to do is I'm going to walk through this logic with you a little bit. So the current frequency will hold the count. So the current frequency will hold the count for each element in our list. So say the first element is one and there are three ones in our list, the current frequency will be three. So it goes down into here. If the current frequency is greater than our counter, we update our counter with whatever current value current frequency was holding and then we initialize our num variable so this is updating our counter with whatever um, value our current frequency was holding and then we're initializing our num variable with the current most frequent value in the list our num variable will not be updated again unless a number has a greater frequency than our updated counter variable and if that's kind of confusing you can just play with a little bit on your own and once you get it it's pretty intuitive but I know the very first time I saw it, it was a little bit confusing too um, we are actually not yet done um, if you think about it this takes care of all possible scenarios where there are duplicates in our list but if you remember if there are no elements in our list that occur more than once there is no mode and the way we can check this is we can take advantage of some of the properties of sets. So a set will have no duplicates in it. So if we convert our list into a set and then it is equal to the length of our original set, that means there were no duplicates in our original set and therefore there is no mode. So if we type this out, if the length of our so we're going to convert our list into a set. So if the length of our list converted into a set is equal to the, the length of our list, we are just going to return there is no mode. OK, so say we have a list of 1, 1, two, three, four, the length of that list will be five. If we convert it into a set, our list, our, our list converted into a set will be one, two, three, four, and the length will be four. And the length will be different, so there will be a mode, okay, because it removed the duplicates. That's the way that works. We're just taking advantage of the properties of sets. So we have actually now completed our mode function. Now what we need to do is we actually need to, since we have the, the functions for mode, median, mean, median, and mode, we now need to get input from the user and we need to store it into a list. So we're going to create a new list called number list and we're going to set it equal to an empty list. And this list is going to hold every single integer that the user enters as input. We then need to create an infinite while loop and the reason it's going to be infinite is because we want the user to be able to enter as many integers as possible into our list or as many as they want. Okay, so we're just going to say while, not like, while, if I can get this right, while true, we're just going to ask the user to uh, enter a number. So we're just going to say ask is equal to input and we're going to say enter a number and say stop to end to end okay so this is going to take user input and store it into our ask we then need to create the logic for to be able to break out of our while loop because we don't want the user to never be able to break out and just continuously end numbers so we're going to say if ask is equal to stop, we're just going to break out of our infinite while loop. Okay. And then from here, we just need to append that integer into our numbers list. So we're just going to say number list dot append. We're going to convert it into an integer, and I'll explain why in a second, but ask. Okay. 
So by default, the input method, whatever we enter, whether it be an integer, a float, a character, a string, will return that input as a string into our ask uh, variable. Okay, and the reason we check to see if they entered stop first is because if we before we converted it into an integer, say we converted it into an integer here with the int method, if they entered stop, um, the integer cannot convert the string stop into an integer and it would throw off the program, it would throw an error. So we first have to check to see if they entered stop and if they didn't, then we can convert the ask into an integer and append it to our numbers list, okay? So that's the way that works. Um, now we need to, we've taken care of that, we need to actually pass our list to our functions with um, function calls and store it into a variable so that we can print it out um, on the screen once it's all done. So we're going to create a variable called mean and we're going to set it equal to the function call of mean but passing the function the number list. So number list, taking care of that, mean. We also need to do the same with median, so we're going to create a variable called median and set it equal to the function call median of our number list. And then we're going to do the same thing with mode is equal to our fu the function call of our number list. Okay, so we now have variables that store the value of whatever our function mean hold held median held and mode re what they return okay what we need to do now is just display it so I'm gonna print this out and I'll show out I'm going to paste this and then show you what it means so we're printing the string mean to the screen and then concatenating the mean variable to it the mean variable is going to hold whatever the mean function returns when we pass the number list to it so it's gonna return the mean but um, we cannot concatenate integers or floats to strings. So we're actually going to have to convert all of these function calls, whatever they return, into strings. So we can concatenate them. So string, string, and string. This, this uh, backslash n right here just um, creates, it's a new line character. It goes to the next line. So I could have done three print methods. So print here, print here, print here. But I feel like it's a lot more succinct if I just do the new line character and I can just do all this inside of one print method. Okay. So now that we're done, we can save this and we will run it. So save all run hello so it prompts us enter a number and say stop to end we will say one two three four five and so on then we'll say stop um, mean or the average is five median or the very middle point of our sorted data set is five and there is no mode because no number is a duplicate or no number occurs more than once so that is how you create um, a mean median and mode calculator I will paste the code down in the comment section and pin it if you got any value from this I would appreciate it if you liked commented and subscribed and I will see you guys in future tutorials